Before we jump right in and start using Podio, I would like to provide a little bit of information on how Podio is structured so that things don't look quite so foreign to us when we jump in and start using the software. The structure of Podio starts out with the employee network. Every one of your employees that you've given access to Podio will have access to the employee network. This is an area within Podio where people can post status updates on particular projects and activities in the organization as a whole, but none of your actual applications are going to be kept within the employee network and employees won't have access to data and specific projects through the employee network. It's just kind of a place for them to collaborate and communicate with each other. Now, beneath the employee network, you can have as many workspaces within Podio as you want. And when you create a workspace, you can specify which particular employees have access. Now, because Podio is such a customizable system, different organizations use the workspaces feature in different ways. One of the most common ways to use it is to have a different workspace for every department of your organization. So you could have a workspace for accounting, for sales, and for human resources. Now at the same time, some organizations choose to have a separate workspace for each one of their clients so that they have a central place to manage all of the projects and activities with each particular client. And as we use Podio, it will hopefully become more evident which way is the best for your organization. Now within each workspace, you can have as many apps as you'd like. And the apps are where specific data is kept. So you can have an app to manage all of the contacts associated with a particular department or a particular client of yours. You could have an app that manages all of the projects, all of the tasks that are going on. And all of your employees that have access to that workspace will also have access to all of the apps within the workspace. As I mentioned earlier in this video series, there are plenty of already built apps that you can use, but you can also build your own apps that are customized specifically for your organization. Now within apps in Podio, you'll have specific items. So if you have an app for contacts in Podio, one particular contact would be considered an item. And then on the same level as items, you have tasks. And tasks are actionable items that are assigned to specific employees. And those tasks can be linked to particular items within an app. So if you have a contact in your workspace and that contact needs to have a follow-up call scheduled, you could create a task associated with one of your employees that is also linked to that particular contact. And how all of these areas within Podio are linked together will become more evident as we actually go through the system and take a hands-on look at everything. But just keep it in the back of your head that the top level structure starts with employee network. Within the employee network, you have workspaces. And then within those workspaces, you have apps. And that is the basic overview on how Podio is structured.